It's been over a year since I've made a video on this channel and honestly it's because I really didn't take many photos in the year of 2023. 2022 was a great year for taking photos for me personally. I did a lot of traveling, I saw a lot of cool unique places, and I was really motivated to take a film camera with me everywhere I went, and I got some awesome images that year because of that. 2023 was a completely different story. I did a little bit of traveling in 2023, but not as much as I'd done in the past. And even when I was traveling, I was so busy on these trips that I wasn't taking a film camera with me. I really didn't have that motivation or drive to take pictures. That being said, throughout 2023, I did finish three rolls of Kodak Ultramax 400. That's gonna be in the next video because I sent those rolls off for development today. But for this video, I wanna take a look back at some of my best images that I took in 2023 that are all digital. And in fact, all these photos were taken on my iPhone. In the past, I've made videos on the iPhone camera specifically. You can check the card in the top corner to see those. It's a great camera if it's all you've got on you. That being said, it's not a very inspiring camera for me, and I didn't have a lot of that inspiration or motivation this year. I got a fifth foot surgery. It was a really hard surgery to recover from. On top of having no motivation to really get out of bed, I didn't have motivation to grab a film camera and go walk around and find images to take because walking was a pretty big challenge for most of the year. That being said, throughout an entire 365 days, I was bound to get some images that I loved, images I was proud of, even if they were taken on an iPhone. Like I said, in the next video, I'm gonna go over the film shots I got this year. I haven't even seen them. I don't know what's on those three rolls of film, but I know they're gonna mirror the images in this video pretty closely. Let's get into the images. This year, I really only took photos in two main locations, Grayton Beach, Florida, and New York City. I started 2023 off with my first trip being in March to Grayton Beach, Florida. I had my film camera on me, but I also was taking pictures on my iPhone, and I did get a few images that I really love. These images are warm, they're coastal, they're quintessential 30A. I specifically remember this trip having a focus on creating images that had depth to them. And what I mean by that is I wanted deep focus. I wanted everything in the scene to be present. And you can really see that in this picture with the house and the fence. It is very deep. The sign in the background's in focus as much as it can be, as well as the foreground. It's a really pretty image for being taken on an iPhone. Overall, no, they're not the most artsy creative photos, but they're special to me. They're special memories, special moments that I wanted to capture, things I saw that made me happy. And so I captured them and I'm really happy with how they turned out. This year I got two opportunities to do actual photography work with musicians and that was an amazing experience, an amazing time, but this photo specifically from one of the tour rehearsal dates I was working was a really cool iPhone image that I got. After those experiences, I went to Purdue, where I'm from in Indiana, and I was there for a couple training days and snapped these pictures. I can't remember if I actually got any photos of this specific trip on film. I'm gonna have to wait and see, but these two photos were moments that I saw that were interesting to me. And then at the end of May, the foot surgery comes in. I am not taking any pictures. I am not moving around. I'm in a lot of pain. That recovery was really difficult. But on my wife's birthday, about a week after the surgery, we went to watch the sunset at a local park and I got this image. Horizon line is not perfect, it's unedited, but it's a moment that was special and sweet and a moment that I'm glad I captured. Even being in a ton of pain, it was nice to have a photo from that time. And again, the next picture, I was waiting in the waiting room of an urgent care in Gatlinburg. I was in an extreme amount of pain with my foot. I, it wasn't healing. We couldn't figure out what was going on. This was actually my second trip to an emergency room or urgent care post-surgery, uh, but the light was really good. And so while I was sitting there waiting to get called back, I took this picture. It's unedited. I haven't done anything to it, but it just has a unique feel to it. And one that brings me back to that moment. Not a great moment, but it's documentation nonetheless. And now it was time for me to go to New York City. I went to New York City three separate times this year. And even though I went multiple times, I only took a few photos on my phone on that first trip. I didn't get a ton of iPhone photos while I was in New York City. I was there three separate times and I took the bulk of my images on that first trip. That being said, here's a couple photos. To me, these are typical iPhone photos, something you would see on 
pretty much anyone's camera roll, but it's the memories that are attached to these moments that I love, especially this one on the boat. This image is really special to me. I know for a fact I took this exact same image on film because I saw this scene as we were pulling away from the island and I was like, I need to capture this moment. And so I captured it on film, I captured it on my iPhone, and I'm so excited to see what it looks like on film because even the iPhone photo is really pretty to me. And this just serves as a reminder too for myself that yes, the best camera is the camera you have on you, which in that case was the film camera, but even your backup camera that you've got can still do an amazing job. And this image is proof of that for me. And then on my second trip back to New York City, I was actually in Brooklyn for a Team USA event. I was on the Today Show. This was the only image I took from there. It's a selfie. Would have been cool on film. Didn't have a film camera, was there working. So this is all you get. And this last photo was actually from August. I really haven't taken any photos in the past four months, but this was down in Columbia, Tennessee, about an hour south of Nashville. And it's a really pretty shot. It's a really pretty area. And I saw that classic car and couldn't resist. And that is my 2023 photography review, specifically for the iPhone. You know, the digital photos I took, those were specifically for work with musicians and the film shots I still haven't seen. So I'm excited to see those and share those in the next video. But 2023 was a really challenging year for me in terms of my physical health, having any motivation to really get back on my feet and get back to taking pictures. This year, 2024, looking ahead, I'm excited. I'm really looking forward to capturing moments again because I miss it. And I wanna end 2024 with amazing images that I'm proud of. This year, it was a struggle to find those images. Next year, I want it to be easy. To all the new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. I logged into this YouTube channel for the first time in like 10 months and saw that there were over a thousand of you now. So thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate all the love and support. Even though I'm not a professional at this, I'm just an amateur and love doing this as a hobby. It's cool to see you guys love watching these videos and joining me on the journey. So 2024, we'll have more videos. I'm looking forward to creating them for you and I'm excited to get back to photography.